Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 44 of the Iron Man series. I am just about to go ahead and knock out this 99 Hunter real quick, but before we get into that, I have cleaned every single one of the herbs in my bank, so we're going to be able to tell how many herbs we get for the final level of Hunter. I did just collect these ones, so that'll be nice to see. And there is the 22nd 99 on the account, just one more skill left, 99 prayer. It is going to take me a while to get this one, but we have a whole month to get to 99 before the end of the year. So I still want to max before the end of the year. I think it works out where I need 100 Vorkath kills a day until the end of the year. So if I keep grinding Vorkath, chuck in some Slayer, we should have it in the bag. But from level 98 to 99 Hunter, we did end up with all these herbs, over 120 Ranas, over 100 Torsals. I get so many torsos now, it is so nice, and over 100 snapdragons, over 100 dwarf weed, it is really nice, let's give it a quick price check. But whoa. Oh, okay, I did not expect it to be over 4 mil. That is actually so nice. Here are some of the fossils we ended up with, I am going to go pick up the hunter cape and chuck it in my banking house, and then we'll head on over to the Varrock Museum, put all these displays up and see how much per experience it gets us. Alright, there are the two capes. I actually don't know what the uh, what the perk of this one is. Maybe it's just a, maybe a teleport, I believe? Teleport. Oh! Okay, actually there's some nice teleports. First things first, let's put it onto the cape rack and then check it out. So we are just missing, uh, oh, an obsidian cape. I still don't have one of those. Uh, the prayer cape. Damn, that looks so good right up until that point. Everything's knocked out, just prayer cape missing. Then we're moving on to the, ooh, the max cape, which we will knock out with the prayer cape. Infernal cape, that is, that is after a T-bow and maybe, maybe a Kodai. I don't know, I don't know when I'll go for that. Champion's cape, I love completionist content, so that'll be done as well. I need to get another one of these capes, every single one of them, because I do want to make all the max cape variants, and I want to put one into the cape rack here, and then just uh, raids capes, which is going to be fun to knock out. I'm excited, but let's not forget to put the cape into the bank, just one more spot left. I'm actually going to have to reorganize this once I max, so I can squeeze the max cape in here, but let's go jump on over to some Slayer now. I'm pretty sure the task we left it off was the Thermi? Yeah, Smoke Devils. So I'll go knock out some of the boss, see if I can pick up that pet, and hopefully get some tasks that give me some prayer experience. Um... I seem to have completed a lot more than I thought. Oh, here we go. I was on the wrong fucking side. Damn. All right. Unfortunately, I am missing just one large fossil to complete this. And I'm missing one, two, three medium sets of fossils. And then I am completely finished. Let's check out what fossils we're looking at. Uh, yep. So just one large. That's it. I'm not sure what these rare fossils are used for. Maybe they're just prayer training. I'm done with the plant and small fossils, I believe. So just seven more medium fossils. Wait, 13 more medium fossils and that's done. But the rest of these can just be used for prayer training, I'm pretty sure. And there is 1500 KC here at Thermi. I just want to remind you guys, because it has been a long time since I've PVM'd, I do have a little overlay in the bottom left corner. With whatever boss I'm on, you'll see what items I've, yet, I've received and what items I am yet to receive. Oh shit, I forgot to set up a Slayer XP tracker. Let me set one up and we'll see how much experience I get every episode. There is the Thermi task complete. I got this one smoke battle staff extremely early on. I want to say less than 100 KC. So I'm kind of like 1400 kills dry of another one. Holy shit, 250 blood velds. I feel like that's the max. Wait a second, I just wikied it. That is the max blood veld task. Do I really want to go through that again though? Do I really want to go through that? Kind of like torture. Alright, 
So we, we're going again. Ah, we got. Oh, pretty much straight off the bat, we're picking up 136 blue dragons. We are off to Vorkath. I got a little bit suspicious why I didn't get a single hard clue during that blood valve task. And then it turns out I had an easy, medium, and hard sitting in the bank. So let's start with the easy. Wow. A 1 in 50, I'm pretty sure. Okay, these two will have to wait. All right, we got the master. Um, 392k, cannot complain with that one. Onto the medium. Oh, oh, are you serious? That is awesome, another master. Okay, another master. Um, yeah, about, about the same as the last one. And finally, the hard. Oh, that is not a unique, we got that last time. But uh, overall, not too bad. Just a quick PSA for all Iron Man or main accounts that don't have a lot of money and you can't afford a BGS or Dragon Warhammer, you can use the Dorgishan Crossbow here at Vorkath to reduce its defense right at the start. The special attack uses 75% and it reduces the defense by the amount you hit. Let me show you. As you can see, his defense is currently 214, so let's give him a hit. And now his defense is 185. Also, if you attack him as soon as he wakes up, you can never miss. You can roll a zero, but your crossbow special attack will not miss. So you're always guaranteed a hit. Okay, I'm going to admit something right now. And if you tuned into my last stream, it's not gonna be a big surprise. I am not mechanically gifted at this game. The last five to six months of skilling have completely destroyed what little skill I ever had. And I've always wanted to improve, but I've always been a little bit lazy. There were always more AFK or alternate methods to do things. So I pretty much chose that style of gameplay, but no more. I'm going to start attempting to prayer flick bosses and attempt the higher effort methods, such as Wooks walking at Vorkath, for example. I'm 400 kills in and I never tried to do it. I'd always just enjoy lazily clicking around but I'm going to start forcing myself to become mechanically better at the game, and it starts right now. Fuck. Ah, what was that? <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay, so yes, doing this is going to cost me some money and deaths in the short term, but in the long term, it should pay off. But enjoy being able to laugh at me. Oh, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! I was raging! No! <laughs> okay, why did I step to the side there? But that was good! That was really good! Oh my god, it's because I had run on! I thought you were meant to do this with run on! That's so much easier! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's a lot easier. Damn, the whole reason I wanted to do it was because I was sick of walking away from those fire bombs. I was hoping I could have run on the entire time. Yeah, those. Yeah, these. But a minute 26 is my personal best at the moment without Wooks walking, so let's see if we can beat it now. Oh, 416, picking up an elite clue. Alright, so I was looking to clean up a bit of bank space and I figured now that I'm done with skilling, I can chuck all my skilling costumes into the uh, into the uh, wardrobes and armor cases. But with the warm gloves, they don't go into the magic wardrobe, right? So I was just about to go trade them for a supply crate. But on the wiki, it says if you own three or more pairs of gloves and you continue to do Winter Todd and you roll another set of gloves, it will then give you a magic seed instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck these, cause I plan to go back to Winter Todd. I still need a Tome of Fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these into the bank 
And as soon as I have three pairs, I'm gonna start getting magic seeds from like when I would would have rolled warm gloves. Just a little PSA, another one. I'm just throwing them out there like crazy today. The same also applies to the Bruma Torch, but instead of a magic seed, you will receive a torsal seed. All of this is confirmed by Modash on Twitter. Okay, while we're on the subject of public service announcements, my friend here, Lost Rogue, let me in on a nice one. After Monkey Madness 2, if you come to the northwest of the Gnome Stronghold, Zunok has relocated here and he will give you any Gree Gree you want free of charge. All you have to do is ask for it and he has all of them. Now the wiki says he also gives you the Ancient Gorilla one, but I can't see it on the list here so I'm not too sure about that, but any others he does give you for free. So you are more than welcome to just drop them and clear up 9 bank spaces if you did collect them all. Oh my god. I had the King Black Dragon task, and then I had the Lava Maze task, and now I'm back to King Black Dragon. I guess that's kind of good because I'm already geared up. Okay, so step 5, and we pick up the one that requires a bob shirt. Now normally I'd go grind a couple of easies out, see if I can pick it up, but I just can't be bothered now. I just want to go back to Vorkath. So I'm chucking it into Watson and yeah, we can hand it over for a master soon enough. 440, another clue scroll. We actually got this elite. And it's, eh, it's not too bad. Hey, we're picking up our second dragon bone necklace. 469, another elite clue. A nice quick elite. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There is the final kill of the task, ending it on KC. 487, I'm going to go and try and get the back to back, but if I don't get it, I'm going to come back here for another 13 kills and get it to a nice even 500. And there is the 500th kill here at Vorkath. Now, I don't have an exact loot tab for the last 150 kills, but I do have some stacks I can show. All right, here is just some of the loot that I got. Mind you, this is not everything. I couldn't keep track of the runes, ores, logs. Just general stuff like that because I already had stacks of them in the bank and I didn't check them beforehand. But let's see how much this small amount is worth. Okay, 12.4 mil in 150 kills. That's pretty good. And that's not even all the alkables and junk. That's, that's pretty nuts. Oh wow, it's been a while since I've had cave krakens. I mean, it's been a while since I've had any task. But this doesn't give me any prayer experience. But I still want to do it because I still need 8 kraken tentacles. Elite clue coming in. Okay, we have that casket. <laughs> uh, it broke the 100k mark. That's not too bad. <laughs> Kraken task complete. Now I'm going to attempt to get the back to back for this task. Just because it's pretty rare and I do need those Kraken tentacles. But I hope I don't get it. I'll do it if I get it. But I just, I just want to get some prayer task. Oh. Holy shit. This update right here. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. It's the collection log. Yes. I'm so happy. Okay, we have it. I'm surprised it's like an actual book. I'll be honest. I thought it was going to be a tab up here, but the book is fine. I think you can also check it in your house. Let's give it a quick read. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I finished Barrows recently, but I want to go back just for this log. Ooh, okay, Thermi, Thermi is what I'm doing right now. Oh, it even has the D chain on here. From my understanding though, if I get a D chain from KQ, it'll also count towards Thermi, which I'm, which I'm fine with, that's whatever. But I was a little worried that while that update countdown was going on, I would get another smoke battle stuff because I am like 1500 dry for one and then I'll go another 1500 dry trying to get another one for the log, but I didn't get one. I'm pretty happy to say. So that's, this is like bosses. That's, that's really cool. See, I still need the Tome of Fire. Azura, missing the Magma Mutagen, Jar of Swamp. That is so cool. What else do we have here? Raids, have not done any raids. Clues, whoa. There's third age in here, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I want to complete this log. Are you serious? That's all right. We can do it. We can do it. It's even got mini games in here. That is so awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very, very excited about this. I've been waiting for this for months. Oh, and other. Oh, pets. Got a nice looking pet tab there. Champions challenge. I do only have one scroll at the moment. Chaos druids. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. 
Cyclops. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I'm ready to get right into this. Oh, I have to get another imbued heart. Okay, okay. I still need the eternal gem, so I, that doesn't bother me too much. I still have not received any visages whatsoever, so that's fine with me. Oh, I'm so excited. Get the fuck out of here, trading sticks. I don't use you anymore. I'm going to put the collection log right there. Another Thermi task done. I am not going to go for the back-to-back -back with this one. Even though with the new collection log and there's stuff I need from this boss, I just cannot be bothered. Okay, we have a hard and an easy casket. Let's grab some new uniques for that collection log. Okay, no uniques there, but the hard. Oh. Oh. First kill of the task, we get a hard clue. As you can probably tell, I am back to doing every single hard clue. No matter how many kills apart they are, I'm doing every single one I get. So let's open it up. Oh. Uh, nothing you- actually, that counts as a unique, I remember, it's in the shared tab, so, awesome, one knocked off. Oh wow, that was a quick casket. Um, yikes. And another casket. <laughs> three full helms, three room plate legs, these are, these are not that great. <laughs> ah, I can't complain though, over 150k just. Alright, let's pull a unique. Uh, it, it counts, it counts. 600k, it counts! Oh my god, is that the... That's gotta be the fifth one already. Another one. Uh, oh my... Come on! Oh, we are actually picking up an elite clue during this. Got the elite casket. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, during the 15 kills, we are in fact picking up another uncut onyx. There is the task complete, finishing it off on 2430. I should have a picture of the loot on screen right now for those 15 kills. 4.62 mil, not too bad. Oh, 700 task complete for a nice point boost. We have 6400 points at the moment. I should probably start skipping some tasks that I don't want to do and just get to the prayer ones. But I'm just so stingy. And once again, we are picking up another blue dragon task. 112 of them this time, so not too many. But I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. It's been, I think, just over a week. Maybe a week and a day. So I'm very happy about that. We didn't get a lot of Slayer in because I did have to finish off that Hunter. But next episode should be a lot of Slayer. And hopefully more prayer experience. But as always, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.